Okay, let's uh, switch gears entirely and talk about someone with no integrity. <laughs> Dana Stubblefield just got convicted of rape. I didn't cover Dana Stubblefield, but you did. You know Dana. Tell me I about know him. him very well. Yeah. And, and, and this is the thing. Um, I have a chapter in my book. I am just happen to have my book here with me. Uh, can you see it, Iggy? That's a hell of a book. Club look Zorro. at that book. Is that, is that on it. Amazon? I should look that up. And it's at your local bookstores. And all ah. that. Anyway, um, I have a chapter in that book about how little the media knows about the people we cover. And by, by extension, fans, because fans learn from us. Fans don't, get, don't go into the locker room, don't have one-on-ones with these guys. Here's Dana Stubblefield when he was on the Niners was the most pleasant guy. He was a lovely guy. Mm-hmm. He'd go to a locker. He would laughing. He'd give you all the time in the world. Then after he retired, and I used to be, it was Comcast and it's NBC Sports, mm-hmm. Bay Area, whatever. Now, you know, he and I used to be on TV on that talk show all the time. Right. So we would sit in the green room. He and Dennis Brown and I and others would be in the green room. So Eric comes Stubby. Hey, we got Stubby. And hey, with Daddy. And you know, I think, oh, Stubby, it was great to see you. We'd sit yeah. in the green room, we'd laugh, and he was, and then we'd go on the air, and he was never tried to compete for the microphone. And I would think, what a wonderful guy. I would love to be friends with him. Turns out, I mean, I, I'm gonna say he's a rapist. He got convicted. Yeah. Um, do I even have to say alleged anymore? He no, got he convicted. got convicted. He got convicted. He got convicted. And so I'm thinking. Boy, I didn't know him at all. At all. At all. And I spent more sort of personal time with Stubby than I did with Joe Montana. Uh, And so if I didn't know Dana Stubblefield, what the hell do I know about anybody else? And I I continually make this point. Fans and media think they know these people. I'm sorry. You're right. Uh, Boy, I'm getting it worked up. Fans and media think they know these people. No. In a pig's eye, they do. Right. You know how they present to the media. What do you think? I have some you? examples with that. Uh, w- when when you were at the end covering the Harbaugh years, the two go-to guys after games, a lot of times, were Ahmad Brooks yeah. and Bruce Miller. They oh, would God, stand yeah. at their locker. They would answer any question. They didn't take it personally. They were charming. They were normal. Uh, they would never get like, you know, what do you mean by that question? Uh, and b- Ahmad Brooks punched a woman allegedly. I mean, before he came to the 49ers, he had a whole past. He broke a, a bottle over a teammate's head. And then Bruce Miller eventually got charged with like five or six felonies because he beat up a, a man in his 70s. It was a bizarre story. But well, like, it's like you're saying, a lot of times the most charming players on a football team could be the most crazy. You just don't know. Right. Because my rule is if you don't go to their house or they don't go to your house, you don't know them. Cross, crossing the threshold is a big thing. And I'll add something else. Um, we've talked about allegedly nice people who turn out to be not so nice. But uh, mm. there are people that you think are not so nice that can turn out to be nice. For example, I don't particularly care for um, Kaepernick. And it's, it has nothing to do with his political views. He was just crummy to the media. Yes. But from what I understand, he's a very good son. Yeah, uh, he he gets along with his adoptive parents very well. He's he's um, I guess probably he a, a good friend. boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, good boyfriend. Um, he may be in other contexts a very nice person. I'm not in those contexts with him. I was only in media Kaepernick, and he was abysmal. Mm-hmm. So it cuts both ways, uh, you right? Think so because the point is, the way you treat the media isn't the way you treat real people necessarily. No. It's it's a very specialized interaction, and so uh, I, it, the thing that ha- oh, the best example I, before we go, right. O.J. Simpson, right? O.J. Simpson. Now I never covered him from everybody around here. Who covered him said he was a dream boy, mm-hmm. a dream boat. Mm-hmm. He 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 would patient, and I you know I promised this, but if you wait, I'll talk to you. And mm-hmm. it turns out he's he's a I guess. Do we have to say allegedly? He's allegedly a murderer. But no, he's he went to jail, didn't he? Am I, no, I guess he did get yeah. – yeah, that's true. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. He's allegedly yeah. a murderer, but I believe he's a murderer. I believe yeah. he's a cold-blooded murderer. Yeah. And so there is no correlation, and this 
Think about Dana Stubblefield. He's not a major character in the sports world like OJ was, but it's a reminder and it's a lesson. You don't know anybody. And I'm going to tell you what it means. You really don't know Buster Posey. No. I'm not saying anything about Buster Posey, positive or negative. Who's Buster Posey? Who's Ronnie Lott? You know, who's Patrick Willis? Who's Patrick Willis? Who's you, Jimmy Garoppolo? Who is Jimmy Garoppolo? They're, they're all, to, to you and me, Iggy, and I think to fans, it's a cautionary tale. You know how you mythologize them and how they project themselves in the media. You don't know jack about them. Not jack. Not nothing. Right. Because these guys are trained at presenting the best part of themselves by yes. the team and by agents. And what's yeah. interesting is um, my wife is a therapist and she's taught me the difference between a psycho and a sociopath. A sociopath is charming, seems normal, blends in with society, someone you want to be friends with. So you always have to wonder about people like that. Yes, but we're not saying that any athletes are sociopaths. No, but just because someone's nice doesn't mean someone's <laughs> someone's not a killer. That's someone's right. Charming doesn't mean anything. Charming just means charming. Yes. A psycho is someone who like may talk to themselves or have like a, like a, a like I do. I talk to right, myself. like us, but this is socio is different. So yeah. we're psychos, but not socios. I think so. When you start talking to yourself the entire day, that's not, that's not charming behavior. I actually talk in different voices. I have one called Dick the pool man. I talk. Well, that to makes myself. it better then. Yeah. Yeah.